Hello, welcome back to the Masterpiece Gaming Theater. I'm the Kings of Rice. I'm ZT Ultima. And I'm Blue Jack. And once again, this is Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, but you already knew that. So, I mean, this episode's kind of short, so, for some reason or another. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to, I mean, I'm going to ask us, like, how we really feel about this game. I mean, I'm going to start off with me, so obviously, since I'm already talking. Um, this game, like, at first, it was, it was really challenging. Like I mean, it was the it was the second like RP, the second RPG I've ever played that I knew of. So like, the, I mean, over time, you know, you got used to the system. It was great. The story was great too. It was my favorite Final Fantasy story, and like, you know, grew on me. And as and as I uh, and as I played it again, like this past year, I grew to respect it more. Like in its battle system and its you know magic system. So I guess now we'll move on to Ultima. Uh, I think for me, and I would, I probably need to play this game again because I haven't played this game in a while. And I, last time I played Final Fantasy VII, it was very different than I remembered it. And so I'm sure this game would be very the same. But I, I liked it. It was, I feel like this game kind of had a, a chip on its shoulder from the beginning because it was following up Final Fantasy VII. Um, so, but honestly, I. I liked it for the most part. I thought, you know, I liked the I liked the story overall. I I could have, you know, I wasn't that into the Laguna stuff, but other than that, you know, I thought it was a great Final Fantasy. I thought it was a great follow up. Um, but you know, I think it was just maybe missing a little bit for me. Well, I guess now we're on to Blue Guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like going from train here. I actually. Like, one of the, I didn't really care too much for this game, but one of the few things I did like about this was Laguna, because he was, like, happy and dumb, and he made things funny, but, like, like you mentioned, this one kind of had a chip on its shoulder after, uh, FF7, and it was, like, Squall was the bionic man, they had to make him darker, more angsty, and it got really goddamn irritating, and, uh, but, I don't know, I, I think that the, uh, the battle system, while it's frustrating, uh, it's, it's definitely way more fun to play around with than 7 was. But I, I just could not handle the story and create it on me. But anyway, that's, that's about what I had to say about it. Oh, that was fairly quick. But anyway, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put some additions on it. I mean, like, I felt half and half about the look being apart, but I really did like the battle song. Battle song was really cool. Dude has the best battle song yeah. ever. <laughs> Dude, you know how many times I replayed that song on YouTube the other day? Like, it was fucking awesome. He has the best battle thing ever, theme ever. He has a gun, and he has friends that are awesome, even if one of them can't talk. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> even though they had those wear those ridiculous outfits later in the game. Yeah. I guess it made me feel like a jerk, like, oh, I don't really like that good part. Bro, Laguna is the best thing ever. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, like I said, I fell out in half. So I, yeah. I was, I was kind of on his side, kind of on your side, but I just really liked the music. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's Final Fantasy, I just, the music's always for me. So I was like, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I think, I just still think that the Laguna had the, the Laguna battle theme had the, the best battle theme music ever. Excuse me. I like the Sephiroth battle theme too, but you know, I mean, who didn't like that battle theme? It was it made you want to stand up and swing a sword? <laughs> Obviously, I think you know Sephiroth battle theme, and then again, you, you guys both know. For those who don't know, I am in love with the Final Fantasy VII boss battle theme. I thought it was great. But I will say this: even though Final Fantasy IX is probably one of my least favorite Final Fantasies, the battle theme in that game I thought was really great. But that was, that was me. It was pretty good. I, I vaguely remember. Wait, Aaron, who'd you say? I said it. <laughs> Damn. But anyway, who'd you, would you, would you say that, uh, what'd you say the, the Final Fantasy battle theme sounded like? Oh, uh, with, oh, the Final Fantasy VII boss battle theme? Yeah, the boss battle theme. Uh, to be, if you listen to it, uh, if you listen to For Whom the Bell Told by Metallica, I feel like the riff in the chorus is very similar to the Final Fantasy VII boss battle theme. Now, I mean, maybe it's just me, but uh, it doesn't sound exactly alike. But like, I think the riffs very similar. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they stole it. Like, have I ever shown you the comparison between uh, it was Mega Man X3 Neon Tiger? It, it sound it is pretty much uh, 
my Michelle, my like, Gunner. Oh, is that really? <laughs> yeah, and the well, funny thing is, like, later on in Mega Man X games, they named their characters off of Hudson Dungeons vs. Ben. Oh, wow. Like, they legitimately did that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that now. Axel Rose. That's Slash. Was, uh, was Slash Man. There you know, was, well, Axel Rose is one of the. I hate to cut you off, but we have to we have to wrap up. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Just wrap Next up. time on MGT, Paul Vessier continues. Yeah, and it's longer. <laughs>